welcome to session seven. We are starting uh, facing the bar. I have my bar set up sideways so that I don't waste time moving around, but we're going to start facing the bar with our warm up that we've done before. So you can follow along at this point. You already know it. We're going to have eight prances in six position, just warming up our feet. I think this was eight. Then we have a half point, full point, half point, full point, twice on each foot. Yeah, and one more. From here, we plie, roll up, trying to keep our heels together. Yeah, don't let them roll out like this. So heels stay together. We roll all the way up and down, and then we reverse and open to first position, repeat everything in first position. After we're done, we're going to take a porta bra to the side. We're gonna be out of music as usual. <laughs> Another porta bra to the side. And turn our head, porta bra back, and turn just looking over the shoulder and back. Yes, so making sure when we do our little combray back, we're not twisting to the direction we're looking, but we're keeping our shoulders and our hips front and just going straight back. Yes, so this is a little trickier to do than to say, but we already had some practice with it, so we should be able to um, at least feel it a little bit more. Yeah, okay, let's get started. And bring them up to the bar. We have one, two, three, and four, five. Pulling up, seven and eight, half point, and full, back to half, and down, other foot, and down, one more time. Half point, pushing the arches forward. Just stretching, not jamming them into the floor. Very good. Plie, rolling up, up, and down, reverse. Trying to keep our spine on one plane, not rolling forward and back. And four, five, six, seven, and eight. Half point, full point. Don't worry about a flat first position, yeah, just comfortable. This is a warm up. One more time. Half and full. Pushing the arches. Plie, heels up, knee straight, and down, reverse, we stretch, vertebra to the side, keeping the space between our elbow and our face, the other way, and looking over the shoulder, opening the chest, and the other way and we're done so last week we talked about um, thinking about our porta bra as we do um, our stuff sideways to the bar now so all of our combinations sideways to the bar instead of facing yeah so we did our plies with the porta bra and for this week, we said we're going to try to do our, we're going to do our demi plies with our porta bra just to the side, because it is really hard to do a grand plie without moving the the porta bra. It's there to help us. Yes. Yeah? So let's start with our um, with our arms down in preparation. Then we're going to bring them up, open to second on the introduction in the music and. Remember to place the hand where it's comfortable, yes, so it's not behind or too far forward. And you can also, even before we do this, you can still check where it's going to be comfortable, yeah, because if I start here and, you know, I can just touch my fingers to the bar, like the, tippy, the tips of my fingers 
to the bar is going to be really uncomfortable. I can't really help myself very much with the bar. Yes, so find the comfortable position with the elbow in front. Uh -huh. And then bring the arms down to preparation. Open again and get the nice comfortable position where you can actually use the bar or whatever you're using for support to, to stabilize yourself. Okay, from here. We start in first position, as you probably already guessed. We're going to take a demi-plie and come up. A demi-plie and come up. So this time we're not moving our port de bras. Now for the grand plie, we're going to move the port de bras. Yes, so as we, one more time, as we are down here, the arm is going to start to come up a little bit before and it's going to help us bring ourselves up. And then we open to second and same as we did before. We do a port of a front and up, and then we open everything to second. Yeah, here, if you feel that you're too far away, you can slide the foot that's closer to the bar a little bit closer. Yes, yeah, so it's allowed to do that if you, if you need to. We do the same exact thing in second position, demi-plie and up, checking that our elbow's not hanging, that we're not lopsided, yeah, still nice second position, and up. Grand plie gets the port bra arm comes up a little bit before you. Yeah? You don't want to come up this way and then bring the arm up. So arm comes up with the hand and arm, everything. And then we stretch to the bar, not letting this happen. Yeah, keeping the space open and up. If you move your foot towards the bar, slide it back. If not, stay there. Tondu, we're going to close to fifth position. Repeat everything in fifth, demi, and stretch, checking that your arm doesn't end up behind you. Demi and stretch, grand plie, and up. Our port de is going to come down and up, and we take a little cambre. And from here, we're going to balance in our susu position. So we're going to roll up from fifth or third. You can still do this from third. Now, here, as you can see, I have a gap between my legs and my feet, so I'm going to squeeze my thighs. So, the trick to a good susu position is don't think about getting your feet really tight and then you end up like this. Yes, think about squeezing your thighs. Yes, so, even though there might be a little gap between your feet when you do this, so that's fine. As long as you're, you're squeezing your legs together. Yeah, it's not about the feet. And then we're going to find our... Susu position, we're going to find our balance, open, allonge, take one hand on the bar, and stepping out, yes, now I need space to put my heels down, so I'm going to step out front a little bit, and plie down, and then find my preparation position, okay? So, plies, two demi, one grand, with the port de bras in first, second, and fifth, and we balance. Here we go. First position, find the right space, and open, we go, two demi plies, demi, and stretch, second demi, and stretch, grand plie, with the port de bras, very nice, port de bras front, and stretch front, tendu to second, Find the right distance and we repeat in second. Demi, stretch, demi, grand plie, arm comes up and pour the bra to the bar. Stretch, find the right position for your fifth or third. Check your pour the bra. Demi, second demi, grand plie with the port de bras, and come up, down and up, little come right back, roll up, find the susu, check your balance, you can check your balance first. Once you have it, take the arm off and bring it up. 
Very good. Open. Alanje, take the bar down and find the correct position. Check your alignment, yes, yeah, so that you're not over one foot or your hips are not sagging back or forward. Just straight and relax. Very nice. Okay, let's do the other side. First position. And we go. First position, second, and prepare. Demi. And stretch. Second demi. And stretch. Grand plie. Vertebra front. Stretch front. Tondu. Find the position. Check. Demi. Second demi. Grand plie. And we stretch to the bar directly to the side, not front to back. Up and over. Tondu to fifth or third. And demi. And up. Demi. And up. Grand plie with the porta bra. Down and up. Combo. In the shoulder square and roll up, squeeze the thighs, yeah, not the feet. Find the balance. Very good. Open. Allonge. Keep going up as you lower your heels. And then plie. Very good. Find the preparation position and finish very nice okay very good so as you can see now we're starting to incorporate our portabra into our dancing yes so our arms are dancing with us and sometimes people forget about the arms because what we do with our legs and our feet is so complicated so um you know it's it's very easy to forget about it but your arms are actually very important yeah your arms your head your shoulders um, in fact, when you're performing on stage, that's the first thing that people see. Sometimes if your technique with your turnout or your feet is not perfect, I mean, it's not great, you should, you should work on your technique, of course, but uh, it's less noticeable than, for example, if your vertebra looks like this. You know, I mean, anybody can notice that. Uh, they don't actually need to know much about ballet. Yes, so this is why we spend a great deal of time talking about our vertebra and our neck and uh, showing different angles of our face and stuff like that. So we are going to continue talking about it in this course, um, you know, for, for today's lesson and the one that we have left and in future ones as well, or in really any ballet class you ever end up in, you're going to hear about it because it's very, very important. Um, so yeah, sometimes we forget, but it's it really makes or breaks your dance. Yeah, so your technique could be perfect with your feet, but if your portabra is funky, um, yeah, you're, you're not going very far as a ballet dancer. <laughs> okay, so that said, we are starting in first position and we're just doing our warm-up tendus. So today we're going to uh, keep our portabra the way that we did last time. Yes, yeah, so we open the arms, we start in second position, finding a comfortable position here. We're going to do tendu and in, tendu and in, tendu and in, plie. So same combination as last time. Three tendus to the side and in. Three tendus to the back and plie. Here, let's bring our arms down, up. So we're going to do a full porta bra and start again from the back. So tendu three times, checking that the hips stay square, yes, so we don't want to tend you like this or like that. Um, square hips three times, this was way more than three, but you get the point. And plie, three to the front, and plie. Here, let's plie 
roll up. We're still going to do our portabra, but we're going to do it on demi point and then down back to a plie. Okay, so three thumb do's to each direction and a portabra in between. I will talk you through everything. Um, easy combination, yeah? Okay, thinking about our upper body. Yeah, because you already know this combination. We have one, two, three, and plie, checking the elbow that it's not sagging. Side. Two, three, and plie to the back. One, two, three, plie. Now take your time on the porta breath. Check that your neck stays long here, yeah, not like this. And <laughs> open from the back. One, two, three, and plie. Side, in, in. two, three, plie. Long neck, front, two, three, plie, and up. Now let's plie again, roll up, find the balance. Once you have the balance with the arms in first, bring them up to face. Shoulders down and long neck. Open, allonge and down, find the starting position. Very good, other side. All right, find a good distance and we go. Open and ready. Front and in three times. Plie. Side and in. Pulling up, checking that we're pulled up here. And plie to the back. Square hips. Plie. Arms flow down. All the way up. Long neck. Stays long as we open the arms. And we go back and in. Back and in. Back and in. Plie. To the side. And in. Side and in. Side and in. Plie. To the front. And roll up. Find the balance. Float the arms up. Allonge and plie down. And I say float the arms up, not bring them up, because that's the feeling that we want to have when our arms move in a lot of ballets, in classical ballets. Sometimes it's not like that, of course. Um, I mean, even classical ballet, it's maybe all, not always true because there are different roles, but um, yeah, we want to float, yeah? Just float the arms up. Okay, very nice. Let's do our degages from fifth position today. So we're going to keep the same combination, but we're going to do it from fifth position or from third, yeah? So if you're using third, everything is the same. The only difference is that you're not crossing all the way over like this. You're going to stay here. So just to the about the middle of your foot, where the joint, or maybe a little more, where the joint of your big toe is, yeah? So everything else is exactly the same. So we're going to start here. We open the arms on the preparation, bring the arm down to the bar, and we have a tendu, 
up, down and in, up and close, up and close. Tondu, up, down, closing back, up, close front, up, close back. Tondu, up, down, close, up and close, up and close. And from here, let's actually do the same thing that we did in our tondus because today we're focusing more on the porta bra. So we're going to do our porta bra. Yeah, and then start from the back. Tondu, up, down, and close, up and close, up and close. Side, up, down. Now we close front. Uh, Degage closes back, and the degage closes front. Yes, so um, to the front. Up, down, close. Everything, of course, closes to the front. And we're going to plie. Uh, we're not going to roll up here because we're in fifth, so this is going to look kind of funny. Uh, so we're going to roll up like this. Yes, so not through the feet. And then close to our susu, as we did in the plie combination. Bring the arms up. Find our balance. Open and plie down. Yes, so... Uh, you probably notice sometimes I use the term jeté, sometimes dégagé. They're very similar movements. One is a little bit higher technically than the other one, but <laughs> they are kind of used interchangeably. Yes, so um, jeté, dégagé. Uh, there's another one that I forget right now. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all very similar movements, so you'll hear both. Okay, let's try this with the music. So just front and then back portabras in between like we did for tondus. I... Open. We have one, two, three, four, and two quicker jetés. And side up, just the leg, yeah? Not our whole body getting affected by what we're doing. And back, up, down, and close. Up and close, up and close, quarter bra, checking that our hips are square, open and we go to the back, back, up, down and close, up and close, up and close, side, up, down and close, up. close back, close front, left set to the front. Down and close, up and close, up and close. Let's plie, susu, find your susu balance. Don't worry about the music. Open, take the bar and plie down. Very good. we go. One, two, three, four, up and close, up and close, side, up, close back, and front, and back, to the back, up, down and close, up and close, up and close, vertebra checking that the hips are square, you're not rolling to the side, Open and start back. Oh, up, down, and close. Two quick rounds. Tondu, up, down, close front. Up, close back. Up, close front. Front, up, turning out the most that you can. Plie susu. In the balance. Alanche, take the bar, plie down, and let's finish properly this time. Very good. We're going to do our run de jumps the same way as we did before because I realized that run de jumps are very tricky. Um, let's start from fifth position though. Yes, so we're going to. Start from fifth, but then everything else is going to go through first. So there are two different ways to start run the jumps. You can start here or here, um, just like with basically any other movement. Yeah, but of course, when we 
bring the, the foot through, it's got to go through first. So there is no avoiding it. We cannot close to the back and then somehow get to the front. Yes, so what we're going to do is start here, open, take the bar. We have our front, side, back, close first. Front, side, back, close first. We have two faster ones, one off the floor, yeah, just like we've been doing. And this one is going to cross a little bit back and we're going to close it to fifth position. Yes, yeah, so we're using both positions in the same combination. Brain blown. Yeah, from here, we start to the back, tendu, side, front, close, tendu, side, front, close, back to front, back to front, and off the floor, all the way crossing a little bit to the front. Yes, yeah, so we don't want to overcross, but just so that if you can, if you already have that um, awareness in your body, just to where you would bring the leg in directly to close to your fifth or your third if you're using it. Yes, so the difference would be here for first position or here for our fifth position. It's really, really minute. You know, these little tiny details that make a difference in ballet. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and we're still learning this. So if you miss a little bit, just adjust. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, from here, we're going to do our stretches. So we take a porta bra front and up to the back and up, we go to the side and up and to the other side and up and we're going to do one more. So we're going to go to the side. From here we're going to plie in fifth and roll all the way down from our side stretch. So just to here, not all the way around, just here and roll up. And then we're going to take one to the back with our knees straight this time. Just opening the chest to, to the ceiling. Yeah. And then here let's finish because we've done enough balances at this point. Okay, so a little bit more of a porta bra to stretch our back, um, our middle of our back and our front, not just our sides and front and back like lower back. Okay, so I will talk you through all of the stretches, the round de jumps you guys already know. Find your fifth or third, find where your porta bra should be, and we go. We have front, side, back, close first, front side, back, close first, a little faster, front to back, close, front to back, close, and a little of the floor, very low, tendu close to fifth, back, side, front, and first, back, side, front, and first, back to front, close, back to front, close, and up, off the floor, tendu, close fit, stretch to the front, and up, to the back, and up, to the side, and up, side, and up, once again to the side, and plie, roll through, and come up, other, oh, not other side, <laughs> again same side, rolling back, and let's finish here, very good. One thing that I forgot to mention, and probably some of you had a question about that, when we are doing our uh, round de jumps from fifth position, right, our first tendu is also going to cross. Yes, so we don't need to do this for the first tendu, it just goes directly to the front or to the back, 
yeah and then it's just going to not go all the way to cross again but close to first all right so let's do it on the other side the same way this was excellent find your fifth or third find your alignment and arms come up and open we have front side back close first front side back close first two faster and close still the same size circle and yeah, don't cut it off the floor tondu and close to the back side front and close one more slow one side front and close back to front close back to front close and off the floor all the way to fifth we take our stretches side keeping the space in front of our face or on the side of our face you're not here up one more side to the bar and down come up side open to the ceiling and Arms come down, find the alignment, check that the foot that's back, that hip is also facing front, so it's not there. Yeah, very good. Okay, so today we're gonna do a little bit more center combinations. So I'm gonna put my bar away. Uh, we're gonna do one center combination, so don't, don't get scared, don't get overwhelmed. We are going to do our tondus on center and uh, work on our porta bra. Yes, so as we mentioned before, you know, at some point we have to get away from the bar and do center. So here's our big chance today. We're actually going to start from fifth position. So we're doing um, everything from, from fifth for this one. We'll bring our arms from preparation to first and open to second on the introduction to the music, in the music. And then we just keep it here. Yeah, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna use our plie with the portable later, but for the tendu part, we're just here, and we do two tendus all the way around, front, side, and back. So we have tendu and close, tendu and close, side. We're gonna close front, and then side closing back because we're only doing two. We do two to the back. Let's plie. Bring our arms up open and we're ready to start on the other side we have front two to the side two to the back two plie and open yes so if you want you can still do this from first position yes so if it's a little too much to do on center from fifth or from third it still works we do two two to plie and then starting on the other side yeah but i want to try it from fifth because we've been working on fifth all day today so we're going to do it here so we'll do it once through this way we're going to repeat again so twice to the front twice to the side twice to the back here if you would like to try come up and down front twice side twice two to the back plie up and finish yes so when we roll up the first one i think i did a susu by accident uh ju let's just roll up and down you don't need to step it in and out because it's not that much time yes so it's not a fast combination but let's keep it plie up open down and then we're ready to go with the new foot all right, so we're doing this twice through. 
I'm going to talk you through the whole thing. Uh, let's try it with the music. Let me. And we go. Arms to second. We have front. Second one. Side, close front. Side, close back. 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 Plie with the portable. Up. Other foot. Front. Two. Side. Side and back. 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 Plie. Starting again. Front. Second one. Close front. Close back. Two to the back. Plie, roll up or not. Open, down. Front. Side, close front. Close back, to the back. Plie, let's roll up. Open and finish. Very nice. When we're at home or in a small studio, sometimes we have to adjust in the middle of the combination, so it's allowed. It's not, you know, the best thing to do, but <laughs> yeah, if you ended up too far to the wall, and just slide forward, do a little, a little slide. I think that we are done for today. We need to finish up. Great job, everybody. Hopefully, you're starting to get the feel for, um, for ballet in your body. Yeah, and maybe you're already starting to see the impact on your posture, on your alignment and stuff like that. So thank you so much for sticking with it. We have one more class left. I will see you um, for the next session and we will put everything together, keep practicing all of the things that we've talked about. And then I also hope to see you in future sessions. <laughs> okay, uh, bye guys. <laughs>